wonderful people welcome back to my channel guys so today i'm back with another hair tutorial video for you guys and i'll be showing you guys how i achieved my all back con rolls so the first thing i'll be using or the products i'll be using for this style is a pre-stretched expression and this is in the color t127 you can obviously use whatever color you want to use and i would also be using a shine and jam conditioning hair gel just to like section my hair I would also be using some hair beads just for the end of my hair and I'll be using rubber bands just to secure those beads and also I'll be using a rat tail comb and I also have another comb that I'm going to be using that I'm comfortable with so guys I'll just go ahead and drink something because doing your hair is not easy it's really not easy but let's get straight into this video so the first thing I'm going to do is literally just part my hair or section my hair into two and I'll just do this by going straight in the middle and literally parting it and sectioning it So once you've sectioned your hair into two, now I'm going to now start sectioning the parts that I will be doing the feeding braids. Because I want like eight feeding braids, I'm just going to section my hair into four on each side. Um, yeah, it just makes it very easier once you section it. And I'm going to go ahead now and use my um, Shine and Jam gel. And I'll just apply that in the part in, then try to make it as neat as possible and as you guys can see i don't have a mirror at the back so literally i don't know what i'm doing at the back i'm just using my faith right now <laughs> or just using my head i don't know but i can't see what i'm doing at the back so um yeah so if it's not the best part in or whatever guys don't judge me because i don't know what i'm doing so yes yeah, so i'm just gonna literally just do like a messy um con roll on my hair because i'm trying to section my hair before we go in and do the braids So we're literally just going to go ahead and um, repeat the same thing for everything. So now I'm going to go ahead and part the second line and then I'll do the third one. Then, um, yeah, the fourth one. And I'll go to the other side and do the same thing and just, you know, do a messy con roll for everything. so guys i had an issue with my ring light like i feel like because i was recording at night like the light just wasn't given so i had to leave it till the next day but i had already done three plaits already so i'm going to show you guys how i achieved this um i'm going to take out the messy um con rolls that i did and i'm just gonna literally comb it out and after combing it out i'm just gonna go ahead and apply the um the gel on my hair and just start braiding So guys once i applied my shine and jam i just went in and um, start combing it to make sure that it's soft and i tried to detangle it as much as i can and now i'm going to leave out some hair because i want to do some baby hair you know so the first thing you're going to do is to take some hair at the front so you're just going to section a bit of the hair in the beginning because i like to do this just because i want my braids to look very natural at the front So now I will just go ahead and start braiding. I will start braiding with the part that I just sectioned and I will braid that like let's say three or four times before I go ahead and add the extension. Because this is the middle part of my hair, 
especially if you want it to look very natural you don't have to put too much extension at the front you can literally just put few and braid it with your own natural hair so the first piece of hair that you're going to take is very small piece because i want the front to look very natural so i'm just gonna go ahead with the small piece and obviously the larger or the bigger you want the braids to look the more extensions you can you know add so i'm just gonna go ahead with smaller pieces first and then like medium pieces and just keep braiding it to the back And by the way guys doing your hair by yourself is actually not easy like you're gonna see me doing weird faces that's because when you're braiding and you're going back your hands just start to hurt like bad <laughs> bad so please if you see me doing weird faces please guys don't laugh at me but that's just the struggle we normally go through when you do your hair by yourself so yeah just allow me to do my faces please it just helps me to concentrate and at some point as well you're gonna see me closing my eyes that helps me to concentrate as well especially when i'm braiding through the back because i can't see what i'm doing at the back so i like to close my eyes when i braid just so that it feels like it helps me know what i'm doing it's a weird thing guys but yeah so you're just gonna braid it all the way to the end as you can see the hair is not long so you're just gonna braid it to the end because we're gonna end up putting beads on the ends anyways so we're literally gonna do the same thing for the other one and for the rest of it So guys for the last one i'm going to be adding more expression because i want it to be the same size as the other ones because i feel like the sides are a bit more shorter and my hair is not that full so um especially the sides i prefer to add more extension just to make sure it's the same size
yes guys so we finally finished braiding and i went ahead and you know dipped the ends in hot water um now i'm gonna go ahead and use some olive oil mousse just on my hair and um yeah i got some in my ears as well and it was not cute guys just wasn't cute <laughs> now i'll go ahead and use my got to be glue just to you know do my baby hair today guys i tried to do something different with my baby hair like i was just trying to be cute so the process wasn't easy but um at the end we got there <laughs> yes guys i actually love this baby hair like it's just so cute like i feel like it's something different but um yeah it's nice so now we're gonna go ahead and add the beads onto the ends of the um braids um i find this very easy to do i normally just put the ends like into two and twist it and then you know put it into the um hair beads and i'll just use my elastic band or rubber band to just secure that and then i'm gonna go ahead and cut the ends wow guys this is such a good and easy hairstyle it's like an everyday hairstyle like you don't have to wake up thinking what do i need to do to my hair because it's just very simple and it's just an everyday look so let me know what you guys think in the comment below don't forget to also subscribe to my channel and like let me know what you guys think about this hairstyle and um yeah i feel like i did so well especially with the back knowing that i can't even see what i'm doing at the back and it came out this good guys i'm so proud of myself but yeah so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in another video bye